Okay, you guys, thermostats. They can be very simple or very annoying. <laughs> I'm giving a simple breakdown how they operate, setting hot and cold temperatures and limits or set points, parameters, if you prefer. Things to know on how to operate, a lot of people say, well, it's just a thermostat. Well, you might see a little more in this video than you thought. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Okay, you guys, today we're going to discuss the thermostat, how they work, and how to set them, okay? And a little more information. I'm going to turn the unit off right now. Set point is at 77. See the word set up there. It'll go back to room in a second by itself. It's at room at 78 degrees. Okay, I'll turn the unit off. Be careful when turning the thermostat on and off. The more times you do it, the more delay you might get for the compressor outside, the condensing unit, for the oils or gases, whatever else, mis mixture to return to the compressor outside, so you will get a delay. If you have it off for a certain time, uh, the delay will be automatically done. But if you turn it off and you turn it back on quickly, sometimes the delay will kick in, it can be five to 15 minutes, and that's per time that you turn that switch off. So I've been to places where they have over a two hour delay. I have to put a new thermostat in just to get it to a shorter delay. The fan went off by itself after post purge. It took some time to get any gases, any fumes, anything else out of the chamber outside through the stack. Okay. The on button here would be for, you want a more even temperature, you have more than just the first floor, you might have a second story, third story, and this will help circulate the heat and the cool, kind of the way a ceiling fan might push air down or up, depending upon the season, it helps things run more continuously, even if the thermostat is not running, and it might last longer, the temperature setting indoors okay so that's would be the on can come in handy at times okay you're just running the fan you're not running the entire unit so this can be helpful on uh, multiple locations or long runs and stuff like that that on button with the auto the unit goes on the fan goes on the unit goes off the fan goes off okay got a heat setting here and you also have 76 is set on the heat right now, if I want to lower that, if I wanted the heat to go on, I'd have to go above 78 for the heat to go on. I don't need to do that, but I just need to express that to you guys. Okay, when I put it on cool now, it should actually go on by itself um, because of the delay I'm making the video. Not all of these are the same. Okay, they can be a little bit different. We got two batteries here. If you don't see anything on the display, most likely the batteries are dead. You have to change them. This is the backup system also, so you keep your readings on your display when the power is not going to the unit. If you, your red wire here should be at 24 volts coming in from your step down transformer in the furnace or whatever unit you have. Okay, usually you see a jumper here for red heat, red cold. The jumper's on the board here, it's not here. So a lot, most of the time you see a metal jumper. So not all of these are the same. This is a four wire setup. Uh, some heat pumps I worked on, they had a six wire setup. You have a second jumper here that goes from electric to gas, but for some reason it seems to be working perfectly here. And we are running gas for the gas tray here on this furnace. So I didn't have to move that around. Your instructions will tell you what you're supposed to do. If it doesn't work, you can move the jumper if you're installing a new one, okay? Uh, that's basically it for here. You don't really want to play with anything else. If you want to see if your transformer is working and your unit is on or your power switch is on, let's see if I can show you that real quick. Apologize. That would be the power switch for this unit right there. That's up, so it's on. Sometimes if you have an emergency, you're not sure what to do, you can turn that power switch off and that would be extremely helpful in emergency purposes. That's what that switch is there for. 
okay? You turn the switch on and you believe your system should be running, you can use a multimeter from this one here to the white one, which would be heat, and you should get 24 volts. Or to the yellow one, which would be cool right here, you should get 24 volts. Green one is fan on this particular unit. You got an extra light blue one here, and that's basically for one wire breaks. You can do a continuity test from the inside of the furnace to outside here, and you don't get full uh, reading continuity from one of the wires. You know one of those is broken, that light blue one can replace that. Connected inside, connecting outside. So it just things to note uh, looking at the unit, okay? Not much more for me to show in here except that this particular one is a really no frills one. It is not wireless, nothing like that. That's a whole nother ballpark. It usually will say heat or cool on here. If you put it on cool and it's in delay, it should blink. Cool. Okay, it should blink. If it's not blinking, this one just doesn't have it. I'm on delay. I think, oh, there it is, it clicked on. So it's good, the cover didn't have the guts inside with pins. Everything was actually on the board itself attached to the wall. So a lot of times you have pins and the batteries are inside the cover. And if that's the case, then you will have a longer delay. All right, so that's things to note. Be a little patient, do not keep resetting this and you get a better idea how this works. And don't forget your set points. Okay, your set points are your parameters, where you want it to be. Uh, right now I'm in cool, so I want it to be 77. If I want it to be higher, I might set it higher than 78, and that's basically it to get more heat. Okay, my wife keeps setting, keeps putting on hot cool, and, and wondering why it doesn't go on cool hot. She's forgetting about those set points. Very important. I think I got enough information for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.